never felt confined by classical music. Uh, it was, I think it was more about just opportunities that were presented to me and I was open to them and curious about them. So I, I pursued them in terms of music outside of the classical genre. Mm -hmm. And um, I just through those realized that I really enjoyed playing lots of other types of music as well. <laughs> classical music because the, the notes are already on the page I can spend a lot more of my time thinking about how to interpret them and and tiny little nuances of how to do that <laughs> when I'm improvising or writing my own parts. Uh, it's more about how can I express myself through uh, a certain pattern of notes. And uh, not to toot my own horn too much, but um, it, I don't think there are many people out there who are straddling the line quite as equally as I try to. And it, I mean, a lot of it's just opportunity and that's a, a great part about being in Chestertown. First of all, for such a small rural community, there's a huge number of musicians. And that's something I was worried about when I moved here. I didn't think I'd be able to find anyone yeah. to play with. And it's something I've been happily surprised to find is here. And, in, um, in droves. Uh, and then the quality is also very high. Uh, but at the same time, because it is a small rural community, um, I, I guess I'm sort of a, a limited resource. <laughs> so I, I do have a lot of opportunities to do a lot of different types of projects. <laughs> is uh, the ability to listen is what is common between all of those things and the way you listen is a little bit different uh, in classical music you are listening again for those nuances and you're trying to match the beginning of each of your individual notes with the beginning and end of each of their individual notes and uh, matching the dynamic swell and the, the feeling trying to, to say the same thing at the same time so you don't have conflicting statements going on within a, uh, a phrase. When I'm improvising, I'm doing some of that, you know, starting and ending at the same time, that sort of thing. But instead of just, um, you know, matching dynamics and kind of rise and fall of music, I, I can get, take it a step farther and listen to what someone else just said musically and respond to that musically with my own my own words to keep the analogy going. Yeah. It's especially true when I'm improvising. I often listen to recordings of myself playing an improv solo and have trouble believing that it was me. I'm like, where did that come from? It's a very strange thing when I think about it in depth because it is kind of like a, almost like opening a tap on something that's not normally accessible. Thank you. 